according to uh, uh, and and NBC News, there's been a heavy disaster in Israel. About uh, basically more than forty people have been killed in a stampede. Uh, they were attending some religious festival in Israel. And um, just like we see here, the Prime Minister saying, they were heartbreaking sights here. People crashed to death, including children. So this is um, a bit uh, disheartening here. Let me just show you. I won't put on the volume because I don't want uh, issues to do with the uh, copyrights, but you can just see the pictures. And... Um, they, they were celebrating a, a religious festival and uh, it's something that it's, 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 it's really so bad. I don't know what really happened, but uh, let's, just, let's just pray to God because this, these are the last days and so much is happening. We know Israel has been uh, uh, the number one uh, leading in the world when it, came, it comes to, you know, um, taking uh, you know what is going on right now in the world they, they are the ones who have taken it the most in, in, the, in the in the world so I, I wouldn't say it's because of that i won't say it's what but uh, this is uh, so tragic this is so tragic while they are celebrating something religious to god and that mass deaths like this happen then we we, we have to pray god and tell him please god do something let me read you the story uh, it says, um, it says, at least 45 people were killed and more than 150 injured in a stampede at a religious festival in northern Israel, medical officials said Friday. It was one of the country's deadliest civilian disasters. You see what he's saying? And uh, the Prime Minister Netanyahu said children were among the dead and uh, described it as one of the heaviest disasters to befall Israel as he visited the scene. They were heartbreaking sights here and people crashed to death, including children. He said, a large proportion of those who have perished have not yet been identified. So you see, it was really terrible. This tearing up the hearts of families. And uh, as I continue, um, video posted on social media appeared to show angry crowds jeering at Netanyahu during his visit as they blamed his government and the police for the disaster. You see now people are starting to, you know, blame, the blame game has started and this is, this is a cause for chaos in some way because um, we know these are some of the events which the Bible has said that during the end times there will be a lot of turmoil, a lot of problems and uh, I know disasters always happen but... Um, this is huge. Netanyahu said uh, through investigation, uh, said a thorough investigation would be concluded, uh, conducted and declared a national day of mourning on Sunday. So this is just uh, this Sunday, okay, that we are in today. President Joe Biden said he had spoken with Netanyahu on Friday and offered U.S. assistance. The United States stands with the people of Israel and wish uh, and with Jewish communities as the world over in mourning the tra terrible tragedy in Mount Mion. That's, that's where they were. Biden said in a statement, the loss of life among worshippers practicing their faith is heartbreaking. So now what, what really makes me wonder is there were almost 70,000 people who were there crowded in one place. Think about this and think about how they are telling us to stay away from each other. Uh, does it really make sense? Uh, do you see something which is not adding up? I, I don't want to comment much. The, um, the loss of life among worshippers practicing their faith is at breaking. He added the U.S. Uh, was also working to confirm reports that American citizens may have lost their lives or been wounded in the disaster. A State Department spokesman told the NBC News multiple U.S. citizens, there are some people from the U.S. were among the casualties, but did not give a specific number, adding that the U.S. Embassy in Israel was working with local authorities, uh, providing consular support to affected U.S. citizens. Earlier, both White House uh, National Security Advisor Jack Sullivan and uh, Secretary of State, of, uh, of State Anthony Blinken 
shared their condolences. So you, you can see the scenes how the place has been. Uh, it's been a lot of chaos and uh, people have died from there. And of course, even when we hear they have died, there are also casualties, those who have broken bones and things like that. So it's really disheartening. Uh, as we continue, most of the dead had not yet been identified by it uh, by late Friday afternoon, and uh, police asked family members to provide pictures and personal information of those who attended the festival to help with the process, meaning uh, many people have not yet been identified. They don't even know who, who and who was there. The stampede occurred during celebrations of lag but Omer uh, at Mount Mayon, the resting place of a second century sage and Jewish mystic Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Each year, tens of thousands of people, mostly ultra Orthodox Jews, uh, throng uh, to the area to celebrate the rabbi and uh, light bonfires as part of their celebration. The event was uh, the first mass religious gathering to be held legally since. Israel lifted nearly all restrictions related to the uh, the V. So now you can uh, you can see this. The, the 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 just this is the first celebration immediately after raising the uh, the, the restrictions and stuff like that. So we, we have to pray to God and ask Him, please, God, just help us out. Let me show you another small clip of how they were celebrating. This is uh, still concerning. Uh, the, the same day and uh, as they were celebrating you can see how many they were there were so many and uh, nobody even is wearing the you know the face covering stuff <laughs> and you and uh, when you look at this you can just ask yourself mm -hmm, is something not, not adding up something not adding up because um, look they were really 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 men and, and I like these guys how they wear their, their dress code is usually so <laughs> So up. Anyway, let me just uh, read uh, one final point here. Margin David Adom, Christian National uh, Medical Emergency Services, said it received a call about the stampede uh, at around 12:50 a.m. on Friday. Okay, 5:50 p.m. That's uh, Thursday. Uh, Et still uh, stills from drone video taken from the event. Thursday showed what appeared to be thousands of people, most of them black clad uh, ultra orthodox men gathering for the festivities. Now, why do I show you this video? Why do I show you this story? I show you this because so that you can be able to know that uh, we are living in the times of uh, what we call um, the beginning of sorrows. The Bible tells us that uh, we are at the beginning of sorrows and we, we have to ask ourselves, are we ready? Are we prepared? Because it's going to be much and uh, it's going to be really, really huge. Even when uh, when the church leaves and uh, the rapture has happened, man is going to be so much. It's going to be terrible. I know this is a, this is a disaster. We may say natural or unnatural. I don't know. But uh, let's pray for them and uh, let's keep on praying for them also to... Uh, to be able for those who are not saved to be saved and the, if you're not saved out there please believe the gospel we are living in very trying times we're living in very weird times please guys get saved and push on and see what uh, god is telling you in your heart don't don't harden your heart the gospel is found in first corinthians 15 1 through 4 and uh, it's all about how that christ died for your sins he was buried and rose again and when you believe that, my friends, you're, you're saved. These are the beginning of sorrows. These ones are the beginning of sorrows. Just look, look, look and ask yourself, will I be here? Will I be here all through? Will I continue being here? Okay. Okay, guys, have a blessed time and uh, be blessed.